The lines were changed. Member of Parliament Kati Hughes wants President Donald Ramatar to come clean on the operations of the National Frequency Management Unit. She said she wants the president, who holds the Information Minister portfolio, to instruct the unit to publish the list of available frequencies. She said several efforts were made to have the NFMU publish the list, but this was to no avail. Chinese, we need to know what frequencies have been allocated to whom or what companies, who are the directors on those companies. We need to know what frequencies are still available. And the issue with this whole China TV is that how can we assume or have the people of Ghana determine that it's acceptable for NCN to be in control of three frequencies? Now, the frequencies are not... Um, there's a finite amount of frequencies that are available. The demands to have the frequency management unit come clean on the matter stems from the government's decision to allow state-owned and controlled national communications network, NCN, to operate and broadcast China Central TV program on Channel 27, Cable 78. You said that she had expected with the advent of the Broadcasting Act, there would have been a level playing field in the regulations of broadcasting locally. Time. I mean, they're clear instances in here where they talk about whatever media landscape we develop, ensuring that it makes available the opportunity for people of all political parties, all religious organizations, NGOs to be able to have their airs, their views aired. So the question is that I, I hear what the Prime Minister has said, but we still find it unacceptable that one organization that has deliberately prevented any other section, any other political parties to bring their views through that state-funded station. Chairperson of the Ghana National Broadcasting Authority, Bibi Shadiq, had said that there was no need for CCTV to apply for any broadcasting license since NCN is a carrier and is merely really in CCTV programs. But the EFC is not buying this and is insisting that the NFMU publish the list of available frequencies. Leroy Adolphus, Capital News.